Hello, and welcome to another ScrapeOps video. Today, we'll be going over how to make concurrent requests using Node.js Axios in order to increase the speed of our scrapers. The more concurrent threads we have, the more requests we can make in parallel, which will allow us to scrape the web even faster. Everything that we'll be talking about today can be found in this article here, Node.js Axios Make Concurrent Requests. The link to it is in the description. Specifically, I'll be going over what it means to make a concurrent request and why we should do it, how to make concurrent requests using Node.js Axios, and how to add concurrency to ScrapeOps scrapers. Now, making concurrent requests means setting up our scrapers in a way that the code will execute several requests at the same time. This allows for other parts of the program to be run while waiting for another, separate part. For example, if request one is waiting on the response from the website, request two can be sent out and the response from the request three can be logged to the console while the program is still waiting for the response from request one. This helps our scrapers run faster, allowing us to do more of them. There are several program packages that can help us do this, but let's go over the best one to use for Node.js Axios. The approach involves using JavaScript's promise.all functionality and the bottleneck package to control the concurrency. Let's write an example to see how to use them. To begin, we'll import the necessary libraries, Axios, Cheerio, and Bottleneck. Axios is used for making the HTTP requests, Cheerio to parse the HTML response, and Bottleneck to limit the number of concurrent threads. Next, let's define a numThreads constant to represent the maximum number of threads we want to allow at the same time. Now we'll create an array to contain the URLs we want to scrape and an empty array that will store the scraped data. You may want to store your responses in a queue instead in your own code, depending on what you want to do with the responses you get. The URLs themselves are for pages that contain a list of quotes under a quotes to scrape title. Here, we'll create an instance of bottleneck with the max concurrent option set to our num threads constant to ensure that at most, num threads requests are executed at the same time. Now we'll create our function that will actually scrape the packages, taking the URL as an argument. In this function, we'll use the axios.get method to send the HTTP request and save the response. And if we get a status code of 200, which means we got a successful response, we'll load the response into Cheerio and extract the title of the page and add it to our output array with a title property. In another function, we'll use the promise.all functionality to map each URL in our set to a call to our bottleneck scheduler. The scheduler will return a promise for each URL, and promise.all will wait for all of the promises to resolve. Once that happens, the execution continues. Finally, we'll log all of the responses to the console like this. Now let's run it and see what happens. As you can see, we get the titles of all of the pages of quotes. Overall, this code sets a concurrency limit using bottleneck and utilizes Axios and Cheerio to make HTTP requests and parse the HTML responses respectively. The scraping is done concurrently for multiple URLs and the scraped data is collected in an array before it is logged to the console. Using this approach, we significantly increase the speed at which we can make requests with Node.js Axios. Now, since for most scrapers we're going to be using proxies, let's walk through an example of how to make concurrent requests while also making use of proxies. In order to not have to manage and maintain our own proxies, it makes sense to use a proxy API to help us. We are going to be sending requests to the ScrapeOps proxy API which enables us to use all of the available threads our proxy plan allows for us to make. We would just have to change the num threads value to the number of concurrent threads our proxy plan allows. But let's keep it at five for now. Now, in order to integrate the ScrapeOps proxy API, we're going to need to make a couple of adjustments to our code. 
For starters, we're going to make a constant holding our API key so that we can use it later. Then let's write a function that will take in a URL and we'll make a proxy request through the ScrapeOps API with our API key. We can specify that in the payload and make the request like this. Then let's return the proxy URL response. Finally, we just have to change the request in our original scrape page function to make use of our get scrapeops URL function. Now let's run it to make sure it still works. And there you go. The same titles of the pages get returned, but this time we used proxies for our requests. And there you have it, how to make concurrent requests using Node.js Axios. If you'd like to learn more about web scraping, be sure to check out the ScrapeOps web scraping playbook, or you can check out some of our more in-depth guides like how to scrape the web without getting blocked and the ethics of web scraping. The links to all that are in the description. And thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And go ahead and leave a comment saying which topics you'd like for us to cover next, and be sure to subscribe for more guides on all things web scraping. See you next time.